Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the novel are The characters of the novel are The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath is a classic novel that explores the struggles of a young woman named Esther Greenwood. Esther is a talented and ambitious aspiring writer who, over the course of the novel, grapples with mental health issues and societal expectations. The story takes us through Esther's life as she navigates the challenges of womanhood in the 1950s. As she pursues her dreams, she faces the pressures of societal norms, gender roles, and the expectations placed on women during that era. The story begins with Esther Greenwood, a talented and ambitious young woman, in New York City during the summer of 1953. Esther is working as an intern at a prestigious fashion magazine called Ladies' Day. Despite being surrounded by glamorous events and opportunities, she feels a growing sense of disillusionment. Esther is conflicted about her future, torn between societal expectations and her personal aspirations. Esther's internal struggles intensify when she learns that she has not been accepted into a writing program she had set her heart on. This rejection becomes a turning point, triggering a sense of despair and hopelessness within her. The pressure to conform to societal norms, coupled with her own high standards, sets the stage for Esther's mental and emotional unraveling. Esther attends a party with other interns, and here, she encounters the concept of the fig tree. The fig tree becomes a powerful metaphor for the choices women face in life. Each fig represents a potential life path, marriage, career, family, and Esther is paralyzed by the fear of choosing one and losing the others. This metaphor encapsulates the societal pressures and expectations placed on women in the 1950s. As Esther grapples with this metaphor, she becomes increasingly aware of the limitations imposed on women and the lack of agency they have in shaping their destinies. This realization contributes to her growing sense of alienation and disillusionment. Esther's mental health deteriorates as she struggles to reconcile her desires with societal expectations. She experiences a sense of detachment from herself, referring to it as the bell jar, a metaphor for her mental confinement. This act delves into Esther's growing disconnect from reality, showcasing the impact of societal norms on her mental well-being. The pressure to conform to societal expectations, coupled with personal disappointments, leads Esther to question her identity and purpose. Her internal turmoil manifests in various ways, from insomnia to a sense of unreality, signaling the onset of a mental health crisis. Esther's relationships with men contribute to her sense of disillusionment. Her experiences with Buddy Willard, a medical student she once admired, turn sour when she discovers his hypocrisy and societal conformity. Esther rejects Buddy's proposal, recognizing the oppressive nature of traditional gender roles. The failed relationship with Buddy is followed by a series of unsuccessful romantic encounters that further erode Esther's confidence and self-worth. These experiences deepen her cynicism towards societal expectations of women and relationships, fueling her growing sense of isolation. As Esther's mental state continues to decline, she is admitted to a psychiatric hospital. The narrative explores the stigma surrounding mental illness and the challenges of navigating the mental health care system in the 1950s. Esther faces electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, and struggles with the prescribed treatments, highlighting the limited understanding of mental health at the time. The hospital setting becomes a microcosm of societal expectations, with Esther feeling trapped in a system that fails to address the root causes of her distress. The portrayal of mental health treatment adds depth to the novel's critique of societal attitudes towards women's mental well-being. Esther undergoes a slow and arduous journey towards recovery. The narrative shifts between present moments in the hospital and Esther's reflections on her past. Through therapy and support from fellow patients, Esther begins to confront the societal pressures and expectations that led to her breakdown. The novel concludes with Esther's release from the psychiatric hospital. While she has made progress in her mental health, the resolution is open-ended, reflecting the ongoing challenges of navigating societal expectations and personal aspirations. Esther's journey is one of resilience and self-discovery, but the narrative refrains from offering a neatly packaged ending, acknowledging the ongoing nature of personal growth and societal change. What is the novel The Bell Jar about? 
The Bell Jar is a semi-autobiographical novel by Sylvia Plath that follows the story of Esther Greenwood, a young woman who struggles with depression and mental illness as she navigates the challenges of college life, relationships, and career aspirations in the 1950s. How does society influence Esther's mental state in the novel? Esther is heavily influenced by societal expectations and pressures, particularly regarding her roles as a woman, which contribute to her mental struggles. How does Esther's relationship with men impact her mental health? Esther's relationships with men, characterized by societal expectations and gender roles, contribute to her sense of entrapment and disillusionment. Who is Doreen, and what role does she play in the story? Doreen is Esther's rebellious friend, symbolizing freedom and nonconformity. Her character contrasts with Esther's struggles and societal expectations. How does Esther's relationship with men impact her mental health? Esther's relationships with men, characterized by societal expectations and gender roles, contribute to her sense of entrapment and disillusionment. Who is Doreen, and what role does she play in the story? Doreen is Esther's rebellious friend, symbolizing freedom and nonconformity. Her character contrasts with Esther's struggles and societal expectations. What role does electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, play in the novel? ECT is a controversial treatment Esther undergoes, reflecting the limited and sometimes harmful methods used to address mental illness in the 1950s. How does Esther view the role of women in society? Esther challenges traditional gender roles and societal expectations placed on women, contributing to her sense of disillusionment. What is the impact of Esther's experiences in a psychiatric hospital? The psychiatric hospital serves as a setting for Esther's recovery, highlighting the flaws in mental health treatments during the time period. How does Esther's academic success contribute to her internal conflict? Esther's academic success creates external expectations that conflict with her internal struggles and desires, contributing to her sense of pressure. What is the significance of the fig tree in the bell jar? The fig tree represents the choices available to Esther and her struggle to choose a path in a world with limited options for women. What is the ending of the novel? The novel ends with Esther being released from a psychiatric hospital. She is still struggling with her mental health, but she is hopeful for the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.